So in a huge upset, USC and Tulane went face to face at the 87th Goodyear Cotton Bowl Classic at AT&T Stadium today. A lot of people excited to see Heisman Trophy winner Caleb Williams battle it out against the Green Wave in Tulane's first major bowl game in more than 80 years. And fans of a good game, well, they wouldn't be disappointed. Let's go to Fox Sports' Lori Brown live at the stadium with more. Lori. Heather, while the Trojans had a 45 to 30 advantage in the final minutes of the game, Tulane sent shockwaves through AT&T Stadium, scoring 16 points in just four minutes. We brought tents to be ready for it. It didn't happen. As you there guys they can are. see right here. There they are. And then we didn't need them. We didn't need them. And so it's a perfect, perfect day for this game. While some college football fans just wanted to see another great game. The greatest college game the was, was <laughs> USC in Texas in 2006. And Texas <laughs> came out ahead. Woohoo! <laughs> yeah. We, yeah, that was the greatest game. For Tulane fans, the Cotton Bowl Classic was their long-awaited marquee bowl game. Yeah, we drove from New Orleans. This is a once-in-a-lifetime thing for Tulane students. Yeah, USC goes to a bowl every year. A lot. So, we're going to win. I mean, we feel great. It's like the best bowl game Tulane's been in, I don't know how many years. 83 years to be exact. In a huge turnaround, Tulane went from 2-10 and 10 a year ago to 11-2 and 2 this season, earning a spot as the AAC champion. It's Tulane's first major bowl game since the 1939 season when it played in the Sugar Bowl as the SEC co-champion. Tulane's in a bowl game in my home city, home state now. Heck yeah, I got to take advantage of that. So it's a good time. Looking, looking forward to kick some um, USC butt. For USC fans, the hope of playing in the college football playoffs was dashed when Caleb Williams played on an injured leg in the second half, losing to Utah. But he went on to win the Heisman Trophy. To watch my Trojans win the Cotton Bowl, baby. That's all. That's what it's all about. I'm from Los Angeles, born and raised, but moved to Texas a couple years ago, and I'm so happy to be here. I've never been to Jerry World. Uh, so I'm happy to watch my Trojans win today. Trojan fans still thrilled by former Oklahoma University coach Lincoln Riley's first season with the Trojans. Very happy with Lincoln Riley. I'm so happy we took him from Oklahoma. We're so happy that he's in Southern California. But predictions by Trojan fans were too dismissive of Tulane. Caleb Williams is the Heisman. He's going to kill it. He's going to he's going to probably score at least 12 touchdowns and Tulane fans are going to leave in the first quarter. Instead, the Green Wave fought hard, even tying the score at one point before the half. We know we're going to like make it because Tulane's the best. USC's going to kill it. They're going to win. No problem. We're going to win. In the end, the Green Wave upset USC in a 46-45 to victory. The loss for USC came despite a Cotton Bowl record five touchdown passes by Caleb Williams. A fumble kickoff penned the Trojans at the one yard line leading to a safety. Then Tulane got the ball back going 66 yards in 12 plays for that winning touchdown. Heather. What a game. All right, Lori, thank you.